My name is Aaron Stanton. I'm the CEO and founder of a company called Booklamp. Um, it's often referred to as a kind of Pandora.com for books, but really more on the data side. Not that it, the, in the sense that what we do is we take uh, we use computers to to look at the full text of a book and break it down and measure it on things like writing style: is it high paced or low paced, highly dense, not very dense, uh, and also thematics. So is it you know five percent of vampires or twenty percent of vampires, which are very different vampire books. Well, the key points of our presentation today um, really, you know, really has to do with with metadata. The problem is, is that there's so much content coming onto the market these days that that uh, it's been a work it takes for humans to, to figure out and you know, assign a proper meta metadata, genre classifications, things like this to every book, is is quickly outpacing our ability to do it and keep up with it and do it well. So. Uh, the key point is that the publishers are not necessarily the only ones who are responsible for metadata. In the future, um, metadata is going to be generated by other systems, including ones that use computers. Uh, I would say that the next big thing in, well, in the areas that we work on, certainly is, is kind of the combination of, of the things that computers do really well. The combination of the things that computers can extract from a book and understand in a, in a coherent way, in combination with the things that humans do very, very well, that people do when they fall in love and read and describe a book. So, you know, computers do very granular tasks like uh, looking at chapter 23 versus chapter 5 and being able to measure things like language complexity. But a human does a very good job at telling you how they feel when they read a book and, and um, whether it's funny or not and general, you know, they like the characters. And um, if you, if from that perspective, it's a little bit like how Google indexes certainly you know, the universe. They use kind of backlinking from humans to kind of understand quality, but they also use spiders and they also use things that search the internet and try to identify when a blog was updated. And, uh, and the publishing industry historically, I mean, if I told you one day that Google would decide to announce that they're not going to ever use computers again and they're just going to rely on humans, I mean, they're not even going to use spiders anymore. So the, the discovery of whether or not a new site exists or not is going to rely on a human to go and vote it up people would say, wow, it's a big step back, right? Most of the internet would not be indexed by Google anymore. Um, and yet, in publishing, that is the state of the art. We're proud of the fact that we don't use computers to, to try to deal with this huge volume of content coming in, and it's, it's failing in, in many, 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 in 98% of the content out there, it's, it's not working. So, that combination, I think, is the next big thing. You know, I remember, I remember a few years ago, uh, a number of large publishers took on an initiative to make sure that every single one of their books that they published had at least three levels of BISEC, right? genre classifications, for lack of a better term, right? And it was a huge effort. Not because, you know, if, you're, if, if the book is Dan Brown, people know it. It's not hard for somebody to go out and say, oh, well, I think Dan Brown belongs in this category. But if, if you have 20,000 books in your backlist, and, and a bunch of them was published, were published 50 years ago, the editor that acquired them is probably not working on it anymore. The, the author is not actively out there trying to help figure it out. And so going back and filling that information is very difficult. And even if you do, you've got inconsistencies. So, you know, a book published in paperback will have a different bisect genre than category than a book, same book published in hardcover. And so, um, that kind of inconsistency in trying to figure out how books are classified and put together, or taken apart, um, I think that's a it's a, a big issue. And um, especially, like I said, when we start talking about the independent the rise of independent publishers, with the volume of, of content that's coming in the market that doesn't have a second person looking at it before it reaches the market. It's a really difficult problem. I think it's extremely important to meet in, in, in conferences like this to, to discuss these sorts of problems with other, with authors and, and, and publishers. I mean, let's, the, the truth is, is that, is that the communication networks amongst the industry are absolutely vital, right? Um, I was, I was sitting here in this conference and I heard con uh, presentation after presentation of people that I wanted to talk to after the presentation because they're doing things that impact my day to day life and I think impacts you know, what is publishing looking like in the future? Um, whether that's the authors who spoke, uh, who are the independent authors trying to figure out how to operate and, and, and how discovery works if you're you know, a new, new author with no marketing budget whatsoever, or your publisher that's trying to figure out how to work with those authors or work in a space where those authors are coming into the market. Um, I mean, it's absolutely essential, I think, for, for us to communicate and talk to each other and conferences like this allow that. So, you know, it's, it's been a great day. Uh, you know, I'm sitting right now in the conference room where, the, where it's been all day. I, I was speaking up there just a few minutes ago and also listening to other presentations all day. And, um, you know, 
one of the, we're going to go and, and have some drinks with them and some different professionals and just kind of talk about about books and the publishing industry. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's been a great experience.